magazine of the screen. Living glimpses of history in the making. Presented as a public service by Standard Oil Company. The hearing will be in order. First witness this afternoon will be Dr. Robert A. Emmons, Jr., documentary filmmaker. Senators, I am here today to make an appeal. An appeal that stretches far beyond this day and encompasses a much larger and diverse audience than is in this courtroom. I am here for the future, for the yet to be named faces that will come to comic books and have experiences as rich and emotional as any experience one can have with art. I am here to defend comics and to try to make a visual historical document so the people of the future can understand this particular period in America's history, in their history. I am here Dr. to Evans, make... can you please spare this panel and those watching at home the dramatic didactic lecturing? Get to your point. Why are you here? And this time without the poetic license. You're not writing a comic book today. You're simply testifying on their behalf. Forgive me, Senator. It's just, when I talk comics, my heart takes over. It's a passion of mine. I've been a reader since I was a boy. As I've grown, comics have grown with me. And I've been able to discover just what this medium can be. Comics have had a profound effect on me. I think they have so much to say about me and you. Epileptic, a drifting life, American splendor, American-born Chinese. They've given me a new, authentic perspective into the life of the other. They've Dr. Taken Emmons, you're doing it again. I would ask that you please focus so that we may break for lunch at a reasonable time. You're right. I'm here to speak to the people. To ask their help. Hello, I'm here today not to speak to them, but to you. We need you. Please help us make this picture. Your donations will help tell this unique part of the story of comics. In the early 1950s, comics came under attack as a major cause for juvenile delinquency in the United States. Influenced by parental, religious, educational, civic, and medical groups, the future of comics was under serious threat. One man in particular, psychiatrist Dr. Frederick Wortham, with his book Seduction of the Innocent and his testimony before the committee you saw earlier, had a profound impact on comics. This is our story. We are making a documentary film that preserves a textual history and creates a visual record of the trials of the American comic book. Psychiatrist Dr. Frederick Wortham and the creation of the comic book code, which determined what comics would be distributed and which ones wouldn't. Our film will trace the development of comics since the 50s. That era's influence, along with the comics code and comic books, struggle with freedom and speech and artistry. Lastly, the documentary will take us all the way up to today's work of the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund and how readership has changed over the past 60 years. Please help us help comics by telling this compelling and rich part of their history. Be a part of the story by letting it be told to those that do not know it, and for those that do, to see it in a new way. Senators, attendees of the court, viewers at home, I thank you for your time and look forward to creating this film with you. <laughs>